Hello aspirants, welcome back to India for IS. This is Manjunath Mudol. Topic of this video is dry venture. In this video, we are going to study about dry venture. So why it is in use? Western instruments and its role in dry venture, impact of temperature, then consequences of dry winter and a practice question on the above topics. Recently, Kashmir and Ladakh experienced winter without snow. Then what is dry winter? Dry winter is a winter characterized by reduced snowfall and reduced precipitation following are the impact of dry winter. So the first one is lack of snow. So there is a widespread lack of snow in Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh region. Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh region. The second is unusual dryness in the atmosphere. So in the atmosphere, the humidity is very low. So this indicates unusual dryness in the atmosphere. And the third one is precipitation deficit. There is around 80% of deficit in rainfall during the month of December. During the month of December, the rainfall is 80% deficit and there is no rain during January. There is no rain during January in Jammu and Kashmir. And in case of Ladakh, both in January and December, there is no rainfall in Ladakh. Then there are changes in the snowfall patterns. So there is a declining trend in snowfall in the month of December and January. In the month of December and January, there is a decline in snowfall. So the factors responsible for this decline are declining the western disturbance, declining western disturbance, rising temperatures and El Nino effect in the Pacific Ocean. So these factors are responsible for the decline in trend in the snowfall. Earlier we have discussed that one of the reasons for the dry winter is decline in western disturbance. So now we will study what is western disturbance exactly. So western disturbance is the winter's precipitation in the Himalayan region. So this causes because of the eastward movement of the wind system. So it is an eastward moving wind system which originates beyond Mediterranean Sea and this wind system collects the moisture in the Mediterranean Sea and it uh, moves towards the northern Indian, so it, which causes precipitation in Himalayan region. Western disturbance plays one of the major role in Indian rainfall. So it is the major contributor for post monsoon rainfall along with northeast monsoon and southwest monsoon. During normal years, there used to be usually four to six events of western disturbance every year. Whereas this season, there is only one event of the western disturbance. So this indicates that there is a decline in western disturbance. So this is responsible for the dry winter in Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh region. The western disturbance is showing decrease in intensity and frequency in the recent years. So there is a 43% decline in strong and extreme western disturbance events. This is causing decline in precipitation in northern India during winter season. Moving on to the impact of temperature on dry winter. So there is a rising trend of increase in temperature in upper elevations. So in comparison to the plains, the mountains or hilly areas experiencing rapid increase in temperature. So if we compare Jammu and Kashmir and Delhi, so there is a warming trend in Jammu and Kashmir compared to the Delhi region. So this is one of the reason for reduced snowfall in the northern India. Moving on to the impact of El Nino on dry winter in Jammu and Kashmir. So El Nino is a ocean atmospheric phenomena. It affects the global atmospheric circulation. So it is one of the potential contributor to the droughts in India. So this year El Nino is persisting from last few months. So this is also one of the reason for dry winter in Jammu and Kashmir. Looking into the historical dry winters in Jammu and Kashmir, several years in the last decade have experienced dry winters in Jammu and Kashmir, notably the 2022, 2018 and 2015. So during these years, snowfall is reduced and precipitation is also very less. Climate change experts have suggested that climate change is the one of the major contributor for decline in snowfall in Jammu and Kashmir region. Now we will discuss the short term and long term consequences of dry winter in Jammu and Kashmir. The first one is forest fires. There is a likelihood of increase in forest fires due to dry conditions. So there is an agricultural drought. Second is agricultural drought. So this uh, shortage of water affects the agricultural activities. The third is a drop in the crop production. Because of dry conditions and uh, no water availability, the crop production may be dropped. Moving on to the long term implications. So there is a Decrease in hydroelectricity generation because of the less water availability, the electricity generation drops. So this also the dry condition in Jammu and Kashmir also causes the 
glacier melting in Himalayan regions. So this also affect the drinking water supply in Jammu and Kashmir region. So these are the long term and short term implications of dry winter in Jammu and Kashmir. Dry winter also affects the winter crops. So there is a reduction in the yield of apple and saffron during this season. So this is adversely affecting the local economy in Jammu and Kashmir. So dry winter also has a negative impact on tourism because Gulmarg is one of the winter tourist hotspots in Jammu and Kashmir. Because of the reduced snowfall and no precipitation, there is 60% decrease in the tourist footfalls during this year. So this is all about dry winter, the causes of dry winter and its impact on economy and ecology in the region. Based on the topic that we have discussed, here we have provided one film practice production. Go through the question and comment your answer. The detailed handout of this topic is available in our WhatsApp and Telegram channel. Join the channel and download the handout. The handout contains the overall notes of the topic and uh, prelims, this film practice question along with its solution. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Till then, happy learning.